expect him to be acquitted. He's not guilty, not guilty. People don't get convicted. And I don't expect that to start or to change rather with Bart. Bart Rager's attorney says the accusations against his client are not true. Good evening, I'm Lauren Motter. Brian is away. It's been nearly three years since the fallout of Rager Dykes Auto Group. And tonight, new developments as a grand jury hand downs an indictment against Bart Rager. KMAX Laura Lawhead has been going through the court documents for us and joins us now with the latest. Lauren, for many folks, just saying the name Rager Dykes still stirs up tough memories. Many people put into a bind, not able to get titles on the cars they bought for months. Tonight, the U.S. Attorney's Office releasing that Rager has been indicted on two counts of bank fraud and one count of making false statements to a bank. But his attorney says not only are these charges not true, they're ready to fight them in court. I don't plead people that aren't guilty. Uh, I expect us to go to trial and I expect us to, to have Bart found not guilty for one simple reason. Bart is not guilty. Some strong words from Bart Rager's attorney, saying he's on a mission to clear his client's name. Thursday, a grand jury indicting the former dealership owner. Court documents show Rager diverted more than $1.7 million from business loans over two years into his personal accounts and right into his pockets. This even as many of his businesses were going under. If convicted of these charges, Rager faces up to 90 years in federal prison. But his attorney says Rager's not to blame. Blame. Bart's a victim here. He's not a perpetrator. He was deceived by people that he trusted and relied upon. And in turn, those people stole from him and others and caused the implosion of his business. He's He's hurt, he's wounded. The documents adding Rager's company received a loan from International Bank of Commerce for $10 million. And the loan agreement explicitly prohibited Rager and others from diverting money into personal accounts for personal expenses. Still, his attorney says Rager was within his rights. He got legal advice to do it. There was nothing wrong with his dispersing those funds. Federal prosecutors also saying Rager knowingly misled the bank about the purpose of his loans. Art is, is devastated. Uh, this is terribly embarrassing to his family, but he is a man of great strength and great faith and great commitment. He's got a ton of support from those people who know him best, and he'll get through this. The U.S. Attorney's Office releasing this statement tonight, saying in part, we are determined to hold to account every Rager Dice employee who engaged in financial misconduct. Fifteen of his former employees have pleaded guilty to a variety of crimes, and those people include managers, accountants, and controllers. Sentencing for them begins in early May. Rager is expected to make his first court appearance in Amarillo on Monday, and we'll keep you updated with any new details in this developing story right here on KMAC and over on our website, everythinglubbock.com.